hi guys in today's tutorial i'll be teaching us how you can make your own customized bra cup if you find it difficult to find your own size in the market or probably you're sewing for especially plus sizes or very small sizes okay so you will learn how you can make um, that person's customized bra cups okay and these bra cups you can use them for um, tops with corsets um, bustier um any kind of bodies okay and i'll also be showing us how you can cut three different um, designs or style line so let's get started now to draft the bra cup you're going to get a piece of paper or your pattern paper and draw two lines like this okay so the midpoint is going to be the boss point all right so now i'll be showing us how to take the measurements that you will be needing First of all, you need your tape rule, and then you're going to be taking some measurements around the bust. So, first thing, you have to locate the midpoint, the center front line on the chest, and measure towards the side. Now, you don't need to get to the side thing, okay? You don't need to measure towards the side. And then, just make sure you measure to cover the bust, at least. So, I'm doing 8 inch. Next thing is to measure your bust radius. That is from your bust point to your under bust, okay? If you're not wearing a firm bra, this might affect the measurement or the final outcome. So, make sure you're wearing a very good bra. So, you measure that. Now, then from the bust point upwards, okay, you can use the measurement to use down, okay? Unless you want the parts to, like, come up very well, which is not ideal. So, I'll be doing 3 up. That is boss, uh, my nipple upwards, the nipple downwards will be 3.5. I hope that explanation was clear. Okay, so um, this is my pattern paper now. Okay, so I will assume this is my center front. Yeah, and um, this is the boss point, the midpoint there. So from the boss point, I'll measure 4 on both sides since I measured 8 inches. Okay, then boss point downward. Okay, I measured 3.5 and I said that you don't expect the cup to be too full at the top so you reduce that by half inch something three okay so this is the top part all right now I'm going to use my ruler to extend uh, those markings a bit because we are going to be drawing our um, dots or we're going to be inputting like Drawing all the dots, okay, to give the cup shape. So I'm just extending these lines, the markings I made, so that by the time we are drawing the dots, it will be um, visible, okay. So I just hope we are following, yeah. So this works for any size, any size. Just make sure your measurement is right. Now along the boss points, okay. So I will be marking um half inch on both sides. Or you can start from the um, vertical line, whichever one you want to. So here, I'll mark half inch up, half inch down. Okay. So um, same thing on the other side, half inch up, half inch down, like that. Then at the top part here, I'll be marking three quarter or 0 0.75 inch on both sides of the vertical line then at the bottom here i'll be marking one inch on both sides so you see the reason why i extended um, the markings so that um, when we're marking our dots it's going to be um, kind of visible so now i'm going to construct my dots okay all right so everything will be constructed towards the boss point so i'm just going to construct now while you're doing your own please make sure you use pencil okay marker tends to alter your measurement if you're not careful i'm using marker because i'm doing a tutorial okay so um you can see i'm just linking all the points together towards the boss point now what's it going to do what i call three or contouring or blending whichever terminology suits you so i want to use my french curve now to blend okay it's not supposed to be all pointy so i'm just going to blend like that okay so now we have a curve not um pointy edges okay like that so you can see my blending now we are not going to link all points together here to here here 
to this point so i'm just marking all the points i'll be linking together and then i would shade out the part we're cutting out which is the dots okay so let me just shade for more clarity i'm shading out the points we are not using which is the dots if you don't do this your cup is not going to have any shape okay so here All right, so I'm going to use my French curve now to create the shape of my cup. So here, and I'm just going to link that point there. Um, for the upper parts, it's going to actually carry any shape. It could be round, it could be slanted, it could be oval, it could be round. It depends, you know, on what you're actually trying to achieve. So let me just use um, this lower part of the curve to do it. So I'm just sneaking into the dot leg there. And um, same thing, I'll do the same thing on the other side here. So just take note of the center front. Yeah, which I marked. Now there are some cases where one side of the pad might seem a little bit bigger. That's the other side in some cases, but this is just basic rack of pattern. So I'm just adjusting here. It didn't seem right to me. Yeah. So here. So like I said, do not forget the center front so that you don't misplace the cups. Okay. So now I'm just going to cut out. All right. So I will start from this other side here. So I'm just cutting out the unwanted part, which is my darts. Okay, it's the dart that's going to give you that shape of the cup. So here, then I will fold in the uh, the, the middle dart here. Yeah, you don't need to cut it out. Well, you could, you could cut it out and need masking tape to hold it. It's fine. It's the same thing. So I'm just going to fold this. Then I'll just quickly label so that I don't mix up the pattern. So this is C1. And then you should draw the direction of the green line. Okay, so... I would cut out okay so one side of the bra cup is ready so this is basic bra cup pattern basic there are so many shapes of bra cup you could come up with okay so I'm cutting out the second one like so and I'll do the same thing. I'll fold in my dart like this. Okay, so after fo after folding this other side here, um, if there's any little discrepancies, probably the curve is not meeting up. Yeah, it's fine. It's because of the dart. So you could actually just blend it back. You could just blend it back with your pencil or realize it's not a big deal. Okay. So I'm also laboring C2 and draw the other, sorry, your green line, that's the arrow. So that when you want to place it on the pad, you will, you know, follow the right direction. Even though um, green lines for interfacing and pads and all that doesn't really count like a fabric. So here. Okay, so um, I don't need to start drafting this again. So what I'll just do is I'll just duplicate the patterns I have here okay yes yeah, so I just make three patterns each all right so here I've made three copies of each of the patterns okay so we don't need to start drafting again to have another design all right so here now I will transfer it to the material now to make a bra cup you see there are so many materials there's bra foam there's uh, there's wadding there's this uh, material that those people that do upholstery, they use it. There's this very thick foam, okay? There are so many materials. There's styrofoam for bra cup, But I am going to use the most common or the most easiest material that you'll be able to source for, which is your thick wording. Yeah, your thick wording. So I've transferred it to um, my pattern to the wording material. So now, with the aid of my zigzag stitch, I'll be joining these two together, okay? So if you don't have a machine that has a zigzag stitch, then you might need to add some allowance to the inner part. But I didn't add some allowance to the inner part, just the outer part, okay? Exactly, yeah. 
so just outside the same allowance the inner part i didn't add any same allowance but if you're using normal sewing machine that doesn't have a zigzag stitch you might need to join it with same allowance okay okay so this is my <laughs> old machine yeah so i will be joining c1 and c2 be careful with the direction of the arrows so that you don't mix them up i'll be joining c1 and c2 with a um, zigzag stitch so i'll just be showing us what it looks like yeah so this is my machine you can see the different types of stitches so i'll be using zigzag stitch here and then for the stitch length i'll just do three three yeah so <clears throat> now i'm ready to sew okay oh so this is a blue thread i need to change this thread to white yeah so i'll just do that and then we'll start sewing now you place the two pieces of wadding together make sure it's a thick one please it's very important and then you start to sew so you're placing them together as you've seen okay so you just it is your first time just sew gently if you're using a table tilt domestic machine you you should have a zigzag um, stitch and there are some vintage sewing machines too that have zigzag but if you don't have it's not a problem just use seam allowance to join it together basically so here this is my bra cup. so this is basic bra cup the round one so i'll just go ahead to sew the remaining two and i'll show us how you can you know carve out other shapes it doesn't have to be this rounded one okay but the other one is very um popular one so here here are my bra cups so um this is one this is the second one and of course the last one so i'll be then you can see that i demarcated my c1 i used my card because of tutorial anyway yeah you need to demarcate which one is c1 which one is c2 okay c1 is one towards the center front all right so now i'm going to shape this one-sided okay so you just like locate the boss point there and then um just make a little marking there just like a guideline for you then from um the top part there maybe midway you just cut in slightly if you like you can go beyond the boss points downwards okay so if you look at the shape of the cup now it's no longer round it's now like looking like the shape of a bra sort of then this is the second one it's just a normal rounded one okay so you can see this one is one-sided this is the round one then the last one instead of making the curve to be one-sided it could actually be on both sides so you have like a v shape sort of at the top like that so um it's similar to what i did with the first one it's just that the curve is going to be on both sides of the pad so like i said you just try to locate the boss point which is here which is where i'm marking please don't use marker for years i'm doing a tutorial please that's how i'm using marker you should use taylor struck so from the top point there i will just curve it in one side and i would curve it in on the other side so we have sort of like um, a an inverted a or an inverted v shape okay yeah a shape rather inverted v okay yeah i'm correct <laughs> okay so i'm just trying to trim up any excess there so if you look at this closely you can see you have three different shapes there are other shapes too please but i wanted to show the three um like simple shapes you can google to find out all the shapes that you could come up with okay so here we are done with the tutorial uh i hope you learned something new if you're able to source for bra foam is better than wadding you know it has a firmer grip but it's all serving the same purpose yeah so if you am enjoying this tutorial please um share leave your comments it's more like a feedback for us so that we know what to do next time and do not forget to subscribe if you're a first time person on this channel yeah so here thank you so much for watching and bye so 
you can see the different shapes Thank you.